Here's what happens if you go 30 days without sugar. Have you ever thought about trying the 30 day no sugar challenge? A nice challenge, right? In fact, more than 4 out of 5 Americans today consume too much sugar, which has a negative impact on everyone's health. The 30 day no sugar challenge is the perfect time to make a change and start a new life focused on health and well-being. The 30 day no sugar challenge is a great way to get started. Join us to discover how you can benefit from being sugar free. You will understand which foods to avoid and which to prefer. We will show you step by step how your body reacts in the first days of the diet, what difficulties you will encounter, and the physical and organic changes you will see and achieve in your body. Nowadays, if you ask any medical department what the number one enemy of our health is, it is undoubtedly sugar. I'm not talking about the common sugar found in whole foods. Fruit contains sugars like fructose and whole grains contain complex carbohydrates. I'm referring to refined sugar, a molecule that in nature is always accompanied by fiber and other nutrients. However, when the food industry breaks down foods and provides us with this simple sugar molecule, a real addiction reaction is created, just like with other drugs. Adding sugar is a very effective strategy used by all food manufacturers to create addiction. It causes high blood sugar, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, increased triglycerides, and cardiovascular diseases. But most importantly, it damages and destroys the immune system during this pandemic period. If you have decided to limit sugars to participate in this 30-day challenge, it is a wise choice and will bring many benefits. The first benefit of sugar restriction concerns blood sugar levels. A diet high in baked goods made from flour, sodas, and candies can lead to high levels of glucose in the blood. As a result, blood glucose levels are constantly high, causing disorders in many situations that may go unnoticed. You may urinate more frequently, have headaches, and be more susceptible to colds and flu. When high levels of glucose occur in the blood, the body responds by increasing insulin secretion. However, if there is a constant excess of insulin in the blood, cells begin to develop insulin resistance and no longer respond to the message that this hormone is trying to transmit and do not accept the sugar. The result is a vicious cycle known as metabolic syndrome, in which blood glucose levels become increasingly high, insulin levels increasingly high, but the situation does not change and the body no longer knows what to do. If this condition persists for too long, it leads to the disastrous consequences of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases which today represent the leading cause of death worldwide. When you start carbohydrate restriction for 30 days, your blood glucose levels will thank you first. You may not succeed in the first week, but from the second week onwards you will notice that your blood glucose levels have dropped significantly. The second benefit of starting this 30-day carbohydrate restriction is weight. The reason is simple. Sugar is a very low nutrient-dense food. In practice, its nutrient density is equal to zero, because it is a calorie without any healthy nutrients. It has no vitamins or minerals, only calories. No fiber, no minerals, no vitamins, so you don't feel satisfied, but you keep gaining weight. Unfortunately, a diet high in added sugars increases visceral fat. Visceral fat is today one of the most important indicators of the risk of cardiovascular disease. The more visceral fat you have, the higher your risk of premature death from cardiovascular diseases. When you stop adding sugar and start this challenge, you lose weight, but most importantly, you lose visceral fat, with immediate effects on health. The third benefit of starting this challenge is oral health. It is well known that added sugars can lead to cavities, but it is often taken for granted that regular dental checkups are a given and that everyone should have them. In reality, the dentist should be an occasional user and a source of information to go for regular checkups and know that everything is normal. In fact, once you start a carbohydrate-based diet, the risk of cavities disappears, as does the risk of bleeding gums and mouth problems. Do you know why this happens? Because in the mouth, which is the first barrier when food enters the body, there are microorganisms that help break down foods. However, when too much sugar is consumed, only one type of bacteria grows, causing an imbalance and an overabundance of harmful microorganisms that can corrode teeth and cause gum inflammation. A fourth benefit of eliminating sugar is liver health. Today, 
more common than the problems related to alcoholic fatty liver disease, i.e., liver problems caused by excessive alcohol consumption, are problems. A diet high in carbohydrates leads to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, i.e., excessive accumulation of fat in the liver. Fatty liver, like Christmas or New Year's binges, may seem like a minor thing, but unfortunately the liver is one of the most important organs for health. Essentially, everything you eat goes through the liver, where it is digested and processed by the body. When fat starts to accumulate, the liver suffers and when it suffers, the liver does not function properly. Fortunately, the liver is an intelligent organ that can repair itself and regenerate new cells to replace damaged ones, but if the damage is prolonged, a real scar develops that can no longer be repaired. This is cirrhosis of the liver. Today, one of the most common causes of cirrhosis is excessive sugar intake in the diet. Although alcoholism is no longer as common as it once was, it is still a problem that exists, but it is becoming more present due to excessive consumption of sugar in sweetened beverages and refined foods. In a study conducted in America, 47 people were given a liter of soda a day. A liter may seem excessive, but considering that some children consume a can of cola, a bottle of orange juice or an energy drink a day in America. After only six months of this practice, triglyceride levels had doubled compared to children who had been given skim milk or plain water, and blood markers of liver damage associated with fatty liver were also evident. Another study conducted on children and adolescents found that a single week of a sugar-free diet led to a 5% reduction in liver fat levels. For these reasons, your liver will thank you when you start this 30-day sugar-free diet. The fifth potential health benefit is the effect on the heart. When all sugars are eliminated from the diet, the heart will be very pleased, as there will be an immediate change in blood test markers. Blood pressure decreases, triglycerides decrease, and LDL particles decrease. LDL particles are small types of harmful triglycerides that can deposit in the arteries and cause deep vein thrombosis. You don't need to know right away what deep vein thrombosis is. Just know that eliminating sugar from your diet will have an immediate effect, lowering LDL levels and raising HDL levels. This is the basis of good health and the basis for reducing systemic inflammation, which today is the basis of many degenerative diseases. Today it is believed that many chronic problems, whose causes were unknown and therefore unsolvable until a few years ago, are precisely linked to a subtle but continuous chronic inflammation throughout the body. In other words, there is no specific point where inflammation can be seen, so doctors cannot intervene, but these inflammatory particles throughout the body begin to be created, stimulated and try to repair the damage caused by excess triglycerides, excess LDL and excess blood sugars. By eliminating added sugars, all these benefits are obtained. Reduction of LDL levels, reduction of blood sugar levels, significant reduction of systemic inflammation and the possibility of treating symptoms that until a few years ago were considered chronic and irreversible. The sixth benefit of starting this challenge is related to psychological health, as reducing or eliminating added sugars reduces anxiety and depression. These two problems, which are thought to affect only 5-10% of the population, are actually present in each of us at a subclinical level, and when we go through difficult times, there are times when we feel more anxious, more excited, sadder, which is very common during this pandemic period, during this period of domestic isolation. It is very common today, but it is often more pronounced when people follow a diet high in sugars. This is because mood and psychological stability are also influenced by fluctuations in blood sugar levels. Eating foods that are too sugary can make you feel good and happy when you are full or when there is a lot of sugar in your blood, but as soon as this drops, as soon as this blood sugar peak drops and drops, you immediately feel sad, drained, tired and often depressed. This is because you no longer understand what is happening to your body and why these reactions are occurring. If, on the other hand, you eliminate added sugars and follow a healthier diet, blood sugar levels stabilize, as does physical energy and mood. It may seem trivial, something that only people suffering from depression or anxiety suffer from, but in reality the wrong food choices affect all of us every day. A seventh benefit of eliminating all added sugars is skin health. The skin is the litmus test of internal health. If the whole body is functioning normally, if you have internal problems, high blood sugar, 
high triglycerides, liver imbalances, liver not functioning normally, the first thing that usually appears is the skin. Therefore, when you eliminate sugar, the first effect is on the skin. Because all the inflammation and alterations caused by excess sugars are reduced and the skin appears younger, healthier, smoother and brighter. So, I believe it is clear that there are many reasons to start this 30-day no sugar challenge. But there is one thing I would like to emphasize. You might experience the same symptoms that addicts experience when the substance is eliminated, the typical and classic withdrawal symptoms. Like cocaine and heroin, sugar comes from processing a substance found in nature. Processing is intended to provide the molecule in its original state, but the effects are 100 to 1000 times greater than when the same molecule is found in the actual product. Sugar itself is not harmful and is always present in nature, for example in fruit and whole grains. The inclusion of dietary fiber, minerals and vitamins buffers and attenuates its effects, which are certainly present, but are buffered and attenuated by all the added substances. Simple sugar molecules, on the other hand, have a real narcotic effect and are very powerful. For this reason, in the first three days you may feel anxious, hungry and with excessive cravings. However, with patience and perseverance or with an incremental approach that involves eliminating sugary foods from your diet one at a time, you will be able to get through this first week and see great results in the following weeks. Let's look at what foods to avoid and what to prefer, in practice. The first foods to avoid are sweeteners. Eliminate all table sugar that can be added to coffee, as well as honey and syrups that can replace regular sugar, such as maple syrup or agave syrup. Eliminate all these sweeteners and also sweetened beverages, sweetened drinks like sodas, colas and energy drinks. Don't continue to drink fruit juices if you're mistaken. If you think about it, even fruit juices are processed, i.e. they remove the fiber from the fruit and take only the sweet and sugary parts. Undoubtedly, fresh juices that can be made at home are very healthy and rich in vitamins and minerals, but if you want to take on this challenge, it's better to eat whole fruit and eliminate fruit juices. Fruit juice has nothing to do with fruit, but is actually rich in sweeteners and added sugars, which are really bad for your health. Sugar is sometimes added to ketchup, Sugar is added to mustard and sugar is added to ready-made tomato sauce. A fourth category of foods to eliminate are sweetened dairy products. This is particularly fruit yogurts and sweetened yogurts, which today do not contain fruit in their yogurts but are sweetened. Plain natural yogurt contains 4 grams of sugar per 100 grams, which is the natural sugar derived from the breakdown of lactose. All other yogurts containing more than 4-5 grams of sugar per 100 grams are yogurts with added sugars and should be eliminated. They must be eliminated. The same goes for milk chocolate with added sugars and ice cream. A fifth category of foods to eliminate is baked goods with added sugars or prepared with plain whole wheat flour. This category probably represents the largest share of added sugars in the monthly grocery budget. These are all baked goods prepared with whole wheat flour including bread, pasta, flour and pizza. All the healthy fibers, minerals and vitamins are removed from this flour and it is broken down into whole wheat flour, which is just sugar. Whole grain carbohydrate rich grains like buckwheat, regular whole grains, millet, barley, oats, spelt and quinoa are good and great substitutes for whole wheat flour, which is just sugar. Finally, let's talk about the three categories to be eliminated right away. These are obviously candies and sweets, all made from sugar. Know that many breakfast cereals, especially those for children, have added sugars. Finally, alcoholic beverages should not be consumed either. This is because alcoholic beverages are sugar-containing products, which can increase blood sugar levels. If you eliminate all unhealthy foods, it is natural to eat healthy foods. This is because if you don't eat unhealthy foods, you can eat more of what is good for you. The more good food you eat, the better you feel. What are the foods that are good for you? Clearly, healthy sources of protein like vegetables, fruits, meats, fish and aged cheeses, and healthy sources of fats like eggs, flax seeds, nuts, seaweed, avocados and fish. And, as already mentioned, complex carbohydrates in potatoes and whole grains. As you can see, there are many tasty alternatives to a high-carbohydrate diet. Don't forget that there are also beverages. Some beverages, such as coffee and green tea, 
are not only sugar-free, but also rich in nutrients that are very good for you. Matcha, in particular, is a drink whose excellent properties are being rediscovered every day, so it is increasingly recommended to drink it frequently, at least once a day. Finally, let's talk about the possible risks and negative effects of starting this 30-day detox challenge. In terms of health, there are no potential risks or negative effects. Psychologically, taking this situation too seriously could cause problems for very young people or those who have already had psychological problems in the past. Starting this type of challenge can provoke an exaggerated reaction to move away from foods that were previously enjoyed and that would have had to be avoided. People who have had eating disorders in the past are more likely to experience these difficulties. However, the challenge simply serves to help them become aware of their possible overindulgence and to favor other foods that are good for them and make them feel better. If you go out to eat pizza once a week, or have a small dessert with friends, or drink a soda, there's nothing wrong with adding a sweet once a day. It's totally normal, your body knows how to handle it. The problem is continuing to do it every day. So, if this challenge helps you understand the benefits of eating vegetables, fruits, whole grains, eggs and healthy proteins instead of sweetened beverages, your goal will be achieved and your life will change forever. If you manage to make this new eating style a habit and maintain it for the rest of your life, you will have effectively gotten the most out of this challenge. If, on the other hand, you stop this challenge after 30 days and go back to your bad habits, then those 30 days were probably 30 wasted days. I encourage you to accept this 30-day challenge, but in general try to reduce added sugars and experience all the changes they will bring to your body, your health and your spirit. When you realize how much better you feel when you eat the right things, you will find that you can no longer go back. If you enjoyed our video and want to help us continue creating interesting content, we kindly ask you to consider subscribing to our channel and making a donation to support us. Your support is precious to us and will allow us to continue growing and improving our channel. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and, thanks. Anyway, don't forget to share your opinion with us and leave a comment. If you also leave a like, it would be great, subscribe so you don't miss the next video.